Hello friends, in this session we will see error in case of major quantity raised to power. Before that, uh, let us revise what was our relative error for multiplication. So delta z by z for any multiplication a into b was delta a by a plus delta b by b when z was equals to a into b. When z was equals to a upon b were also having relative error as delta z by z is equals to delta a by a plus delta b by b so for a quantity which is raised to power form that is if z is equals to a to the power 2 suppose then for that we can say that this is nothing but a into a and using same method for multiplication it would be delta a by a plus delta a by a which is equals to nothing but 2 delta a by a and that is our relative error delta z by z so we can say that for power form suppose you have anything that is if z is equals to a raised to p, b raised to q or c raised to r then also it will be equals to delta z by z will be equals to p into delta a by a plus q into delta b by b plus r into delta c by c so this is how to solve anything related to power for relative error. Hope you have got the point. So now let us uh, revise all formulas for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and for the power. So first formula was for addition if z is equals to a plus b then a plus b was equals to a plus b in real form plus minus delta a plus delta b when z was equals to a minus b then we will be having a minus b of real term plus and minus delta a plus delta b when z was equals to a into b and relative error delta z by z was equals to delta a by a plus delta b by b when z is equals to a by b then also we were having the same value for division and multiplication quantities were same and when z is equals to a raised to n then delta z by z is equals to n times delta a by a hope you have got all the formulas now let us see examples related to this now in this example the temperature of two bodies measured by the thermometer are T1. So first reading is given as T1 which is equals to 20 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degree Celsius. So this is our real value of T1 and this is your delta T1. Similarly T2 is given as 50 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degree Celsius. So this is your T2 real value of T2 and this is your delta T2. Now this asked us to find out temperature difference. Temperature difference that means we have to subtract T2 from T1. So we have to find out T2 minus T1. As I had, I had shown you we have to simply subtract the real values T2 minus T1 but we have to always add delta t1 plus delta t2 always remember this that is your resultant will be our t dash will be equals to t2 minus t1 what will be t2 minus t1 that is 50 minus 20 that is 30 30 degrees celsius and delta t2 plus delta t1 that is 0.5 plus 0.5 which will be plus or minus 1 so your answer will be 30 degrees Celsius plus or minus 
वन डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस इज सिंपल अरिथमेटिक दैट इज सब्ट्रैक्शन विच वी एट सीन एंड दिस पार्ट वन डिग्री सेल्सियस विल बी योर एरर सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द रेजिस्टेंस आर इज एक्सप्रेस एज वोल्टेज अपॉन करंट दैट इज वी बाई आई एंड वैल्यूज फॉर वी बाई आई विद दर एब्सोल्यूट एरर आर गिवन एज हंड्रेड प्लस माइनस फाइव एंड टेन प्लस माइनस पॉइंट टू रिस्पेक्टिवली वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट परसेंटेज एरर परसेंटेज एरर इज नथिंग बट रिलेटिव एरर दैट इज डेल्टा आर बाई आर वी हैव टू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइड विद हंड्रेड विल गेट परसेंटेज एरर राइट नाउ एज डिविजन इज इन्वॉल्व इन दिस केस सो फॉर्मूला विल बी डेल्टा आर बाई आर वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट दैट इज इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा वी बाई वी प्लस डेल्टा आई बाई आई दैट इज इट एंड दिस इज अवर डेल्टा वी फाइव बाई दिस अवर वी दैट इज हंड्रेड प्लस पॉइंट टू बाई टेन राइट सो विल बी गेटिंग that is equals to 7 by 100 now you will just multiply it with 100 to find out percentage error percentage error will be equals to delta r by r into 100 and that is equals to 7 by 100 into 100 so my percentage error will be 7% In this numerical, we need to find out equivalent resistances of series combination and parallel combination by using the relations. And we also need to find out what are their errors, right? I mean, what are their absolute errors? So we need to find out R for series and its delta R for series. we need to find out r dash for parallel and its delta r dash that is for parallel resistance means in the end we have to represent this resistance equivalent part as r plus minus r plus minus delta r and uh, we have to represent using these two equations these equations from where it is derived that i have explained and you can check out the description the link is provided in the description below and uh, from this equation we can find out r dash we can find out r dash from here and delta r dash from here and by using this we will in the end represent equivalent parallel resistance as r dash plus minus delta r dash so this is our uh, prime motive for this numerical so let us start it is given that r1 that is equals to 100 plus minus 3 ohm it is a symbol of a resistance and r2 is equals to 200 plus minus 4 ohm now for series connection resultant r should be equals to r1 plus r2 and we already know that for that we need to add both the real parts first that is 100 plus 200 and plus or minus we have to add both the error part that is 3 Plus four. We have always we have to always add it as I shown you in the article of addition of errors. So you'll be getting two hundred plus three hundred, two uh, hundred plus hundred. That is three hundred plus or minus four plus three. That is seven. So my resultant series resistance R is three hundred plus or minus seven ohm when it is connected in series. Don't forget to write unit. okay it's important now let us see what will be the resistance equivalent resistance for the parallel 
parallel connection so for parallel connection we have 1 upon r dash is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 so first we will be finding out r dash that is real value so from this equation r dash will be equals to r1 into r2 upon r1 plus r2 i am not considering any errors i'll just be finding out r dash plane by taking value of real r1 that is 100 real r2 that is 200 divided by 100 plus 200 that is equals to 20,000 divided by 300 200 by 3 and the answer is 66.7 ohm this is your r dash now we need to find out delta r dash because we have to represent r dash in the form of r dash plus minus delta r dash so for finding out delta r dash i'll be using the given equation which is given in the question i'm talking about this expression that is delta r dash upon r dash square is equals to delta r1 upon r1 square plus delta r2 upon r2 square so i'll make delta r dash as a subject so i'll be getting delta r dash is equals to delta r dash upon r dash square is equals to delta r1 upon r1 square plus delta r2 upon r2 square so from this equation i can get delta r dash is equals to r dash square into delta r1 upon r1 square plus r dash square into delta r2 upon r2 square so by putting all the values we have got value of r dash as 66.7 square delta r1 is 3 and r1 square is 100 square plus r dash square is again 66.7 square multiply by delta r2 is 4 ohm divided by r2 square that is 200 square now putting all the values into the calculator you'll be getting delta r dash is equals to 1.8 ohm now we have got our r dash we have also got our delta r dash so our resultant will be 66.7 plus or minus 1.8 ohm this is your final answer for parallel resistance Now next question is find the relative error in Z if Z is expressed as A raised to 4, B raised to 1 by 3 over C raised to 1 here nothing is there so 1 and D raised to 3 by 2 and that we had seen in the session error in case of measured quantity raised to power we had seen that for any delta Z by Z which includes so many power it can be written as 4 delta A by A plus what is power of b 1 by 3 then delta b by b plus what is power of c that is 1 into delta c by c plus what is power of d that is 3 by 2 delta d by d so it is expressed in this manner if sometimes they can give you values that means sometimes they can give you the value of a for example a is given as 2 plus or minus 0.5 so you have to put this in place of delta a you have to put this value of 2 in place of a they can also give you the value of b that is equals to 5 plus minus 0.1 so this will be your delta b this will be your b so it can also be asked in the form of values so just put these values in these formulas delta a by a and delta b by b then calculate and you will get the relative error of for z